we're making a tent. Okay. Alright, come on! Welcome to our haunted tent of horrors. Woo. So basically, we decided that this is the 13th vlog. Yes, this is day 13. This is the 13th vlog, and what better way to uh, celebrate your 13th vlog than to have a haunted story tent on your bed. You might even say this would be a spooktacular. <laughs> <laughs> but mostly this is because I haven't vlogged all day long. <laughs> <laughs> 1054 at night. Yeah, it's 10:54 at night, so it's spooky, and it's a there's a full it moon. Is a full moon. There is a full moon outside. It's real. So we're gonna start this off, and we're gonna just share some spooky stories from our life growing up. I don't know how long this will last. My spooky story is just from a couple months ago. I bought this really pretty, like, wallflower art from Target. And <laughs> oh, no, no, <laughs> Target. And I realized that in the center of the flower, twice, it said, but. <laughs> B-U-T-T, it said butt in the middle of this flower. And so I thought, okay, well, I'll just um, I'll just write Target and I'll, maybe they'll give me a gift card or something, you know, because they put butt in the middle of this wallflower that's been in my office forever. And I wrote them and I only used my first initial and my last name. And then all of a sudden I get an email back and it said, hello, Quinn, we're going to send you a gift card. Blah, 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 blah. How do they know my middle name? The only way they know is if they checked my Facebook. <laughs> Hold on, can you tell them the one thing about the one time that you said, hey Siri, and it, you... oh, she's listening. I said, like, I was talking and I had a whole sentence running on. And then all of a sudden, in the middle of my sentence, I said, hey Siri. But when I said those words, it had actually already typed out the first 10 words that I had spoken before I said, hey Siri. So she's listening all the time. Whoa. <laughs> now, it's time for my scary story. Come close, children, for the night is dark. <laughs> and there are wildebeests. And things with long cuticles. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> it's your worst <laughs> nightmare! <laughs> Overgrown cuticles. <laughs> Push them back. Anyway, I keep getting distracted. It's time for my story. So when I was probably about 12 years old, I lived in what I believe is a true haunted house. It's a house that's not too far from right here. And my family lived there for quite a few years. Let me start from the beginning. A long driveway extended down a long stretch onto a two acre piece of property where there sat a tall yellow house. My parents purchased this yellow house and we moved in. My dad was always at the office. My brother at this point in his life played sports all the time and I played video games. We had practically nothing in this house because my family, we were poor and we didn't have a lot of furniture to begin with so when we moved into this larger house there was almost nothing so I was in the basement uh, with a television a PlayStation and a mattress on the floor this house actually connected the basement to the garage maybe what you would say a walkout basement and I'm down in this basement the stairs to the basement are behind me and everybody that is in my family is gone. My mother out shopping for groceries, my brother playing basketball, my father at the office. And I'm sitting in the basement playing video games. After my mom had been gone for about 45 minutes, I hear the door upstairs shut. And then shortly after that, I hear cabinets opening and closing, opening and closing. I assume mom's home. She probably got the groceries and she's putting them all away. I decide to go upstairs and Nobody's home and there's nothing in the cabinets. So I think, oh, she must have forgotten to get something and went back to the grocery. So I go back down the stairs and I sit down on the mattress and I face the wall, my back to the stairs. And the, there's also at the bottom of the stairs, a door that leads to the garage directly behind me. So I'm sitting there and I'm playing a game and about 10 minutes later, slam, 
Slam! Slam! The cabinets are opening and closing and opening and closing and opening and closing. So I think, oh, wow, well, that was fast. She got back home. I run up the stairs, nothing. At this point, you can obviously tell I'm getting nervous. If you know me, you know I am a skeptical person. Everything has a reason. Everything has to be explained. If somebody thinks something's haunted, I'm the first one to try to point out reasons why a place is not. But this new place has me shaken. So I'm in the basement and I've turned my video game about as low as it can go without turning the volume fully off. And all of a sudden, the doorknob behind me begins to turn. In an instant, like I whip around and I look at the door and it opens and my mom comes through. <laughs> like at the top of my lungs, I just said, this house is haunted. She looks at me and she's like, oh, you're cute. Let me tell you something. Within three weeks, three weeks, everyone in my family, everyone knows that this house is haunted. Everything from footsteps on the floor to doors opening and closing. My father even heard my mother whistle, our family whistle, and called for her multiple times to come into the bathroom where he was. No one was home. Now that was the warm-up, so you understand the story that's about to come. About a year and a half has passed, and it's night. My parents have guests over. They're in the basement. Now, I don't know if I can make sense of this. The staircase goes kind of like this. My parents are down here. This is the mid-level. I am on the top level in a room right here. You're gonna have to hold on to your butts for this one. Hold on to your butts. Some time has passed, and I've become a seasoned veteran of living in this house. I'm laying in bed, my mother starts walking up the stairs. When someone's walking up a wooden staircase, the stairs, they creak, and sometimes people's ankles pop. I hear all of these things, and I have my back to the door. I hear the door creak open. And in this moment, I keep my eyes closed and my back to the door, knowing that my mom is going to come over and give me a hug or a kiss goodnight. I stand steadfast. My mother walks over to the bed, sits on the bed next to me, and I roll over, only to find this, a human butt-sized impression on the bed next to me where I went to wrap my arms around my mother that wasn't there. So slowly, I take my arms, remove them from this ghost being, take the covers off, and proceed to walk downstairs in my underwear. There are guests in this house, mind you. I walk down the stairs in my skivvies, and I proceed by saying, Mom, Papa, the ghost just sat on my bed. My parents are not surprised. And my mom says, okay, I'll be up in a minute. Now these guests, they're not so cool. They're whoa, like, whoa, 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 whoa. what? And we proceed to explain, me and my tidy whities that there are ghosts in them, their house. But let me wrap all of this up by telling you the last part of this story. The people that lived in this house before us came to pick up the mail one day. And we asked, have you ever heard any noises in this house? And they said, oh, you mean the ghost. You could have told us that when we bought it. But the scariest thing is something that they told us next. Our mother got very sick when we lived in this house and she ended up passing away. But when she passed away, the haunting stopped. A few years passed and we decided to sell the house. And when we were cleaning out one of the drawers in the kitchen, I'd, I'd pull a drawer out to dump the silverware into a bucket because that's how a 16-year-old boy packs silverware. And when I do, a notebook falls, falls out of the bottom of the drawer. The notebook was the journal of the dead mother. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> These journal entries were the entries from her last few months before she died. Well, that's it. That is Scary Story Time with Jaren and Haley. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. Uh, where are you looking at on my head? Like right here? Look at my face. Okay. Like look at you, like you're trying to look at me.